Molly from Molly's Artistry. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different, but I wanted to continue working in these blues because I'm loving them. Um, so I have a 24 inch by 12 inch um, gallery wrapped canvas. I went ahead and painted the sides and kind of wiped some across the top. Um, I think for now I'm not going to use any silicone in my blues until I have, I want to have a focal point of white and gold and kind of spread it out. This is just going to kind of be a fluid painting. It's not going to be a specific, um, sometimes I do controlled pores where it looks like something. Um, but for this one, I don't really need it to look like anything. I'm going to put some white in here. This is my house paint white that I'm using. Um, cause I like the way that it reacts with the blues to make cells, um, on its own without having anything besides the Floatrol in there. Um, I'll post on my site about uh, what the pouring medium is down below and um, I have a video on how I make my house paint that I'm uploading right now, how I make my base paint. Um, these paints are still a little bit thick, um, but I'll see how they flow. Um, I like my paints a little bit thinner when I'm just doing fluid art. Obviously, I like them a little more fluid, but we'll kind of see how it goes. So I'm just going to pour some paint down right now. Um, no specific design in mind. And I'm going to um, mix them together with my palette knife. So wish me luck. So I've got, that's Payne's Gray that I'm putting down now. So can you guys see this? This, see how that has a mound on it? That's normally what I use for my flip cup. So that's still a little bit thick for my liking. I'm just gonna mix a little more corn meat in with it. Gosh, you guys, I made this pouring medium today and I'm gonna be out of it soon. So I'm just gonna add a little more, whoop, spilled that over. A little more pouring medium. And just a little tip, you know, I know when I've added too much pouring medium when my color starts to go a little bit different, when it starts to go a little bit white. So that's a little more fluid. It's still probably too thick. I don't know if you guys can see that. Still probably a little thick for what I want to do, but we'll just see. So I'm just going to layer over top of this, pour some down the sides. You know, when it's too thick, I don't get the cells that I like, but I'm going to come back over this, I think, with some white. My white's pretty thin and I think my white will do pretty well. So that is a phthalo blue that I'm using right here. I really love phthalo blue and Payne's gray. They're literally like my favorites. So I'm just gonna go, here's cerulean blue. Let's see how that one's, okay, that one's thinner. That one's good. So I'll pour this one on. So I'm working kind of darker to lighter on the inside, and then when I swipe these out, pour them around, I think they'll be good. This is, um, let me see which one. This is my Ocean Breeze that I mixed with some Artist Loft White. Um, the Ocean Breeze is a, a Craftsman paint, so it's thinner just in general. So, pour some of that. Ooh, I like these colors. Layer some of that over. Again, the layering of the paint is how you're going to get your cells if you're not using silicone. This right here is a turquoise that I mixed with a light blue. And again, that's pretty fluid. Getting kind of light in there, so I'm going to go back over it with a little bit more. Payne's gray. And this is definitely too much paint for this canvas. I'm going to pour a lot of it off, I think, but I have two canvases to do. So go back in with some of this blue in the center. So this is Brilliant Blue by Artist Loft, but it actually looks exactly like the Thalo Blue from Creative Inspirations. So, and then one of my new favorite colors, which actually thickens up a lot. Let me see if you guys can see that in there. This is a metallic cobalt blue. Yeah, I have way too much paint on here. But that's all right. 
Okay. So, I'm just going to wiggle this around a little bit. If it goes off camera, I'm sorry. Just to cover the whole thing and then get some of the colors off of there. Oh, guys, I kind of like this just the way that it is. I know I always, I feel like I always say that when the colors start to mix together. It's just because I literally, I love fluid art. Fluid art by itself looks good. You actually don't ever need any cells or anything else really in there. And I'm just going to get down my sides. See how thick my paint is? It didn't have to be that thick. I could have thinned this out and saved some paint for sure. I might do that the next time around. But for now, this is okay. Just getting the paint on my corners. Getting it over my sides here. Wipe my hands off. Jeez, that got messy quick. I should have worn my gloves on this one. So now I'm going to do a little bit of swiping. And see, y'all, look at my hands. I'm like such a mess. Now I'm going to take my palette knife. And I need like a little sink out here. I'm going to take my palette knife and swipe through some of this. No real. No real um, rhyme or reason to what I'm doing here. Just swiping. Just swiping and going. As it drips down the edges, I like that, so. I'm wiping off my, you can't see it, it's off camera, but I'm wiping off my, um, off my palette knife each time. A lot of paint on this canvas, guys. And you know what? If you don't like it, you just swipe through it again. Scrape the canvas, start over. Nobody says this has to be perfect. Although I am kind of a perfectionist, but this is fluid art is whatever you make it. Whoever likes it can buy it, uh, but it doesn't have to be anything. Just enjoy the process. You know, everybody has all these questions and wants to get their mixture right, but I don't really know that there is a right. Okay, let me throw that paper towel away. Okay, so now I'm going to hit this with the torch. These colors are too thick. This is what happens when... I'm just getting some air bubbles out, really. But this is what ends up happening um, when your colors are too thick. So I'm going to get a little bit of cell action in here because of the Floatrol. Floatrol has some hydrophobic um, components to it, so it reacts. just with the paint being layered over it. You'll get some cells that happen. It's a thick part in the middle. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, see how much paint was on that? If your paint's too thick, you guys, it will crack. Especially if you're using a glue component. So. Just keep that in mind. Oh, I like that. Um, I like what's happening here. But see how thick that is? Scrape some of that off. I really like the effect that's going on here. I wonder if you guys can see any of that. Just wiping my palette knife off every time. I think it's gonna be really pretty once I add that, um, once 
I don't want to scrape to the canvas. That's the only issue. So I'm trying to get some of the paint off, but not scrape through to the canvas. I actually kind of like that little design right there. I like the gradation of color that I'm getting just from swiping this like this. Very cool. I'm actually really liking this. So the painting has already decided for me where I think that my pop of color is gonna be and I think it's gonna be right there and it's gonna go up that way and down that way. I'm gonna torch one more time because now I've layered more colors through each other. Don't wanna burn your paint so don't leave this on there for very long. Pretty little cells. Pretty little cells that are popping up. I just love the fluid motion that's over there. I'm gonna swipe up that way a little bit with my finger because there's a lot of paint right there in the center. Like I said, you want to get the paint off the canvas. I used way too much paint, you guys. You want to get the paint off the canvas, but not get down to the, um, to the canvas itself so that you can see through it. But again, too much paint will mean that it may crack. So you have to kind of find your happy medium there. So I think what I'm gonna do is puddle pour in the middle and then kind of either blow that out with a straw or go with my palette knife. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start with this color. I wanna thin this down with some water though. Might have been a little too much water. Oh yeah, way too much water. Put some more of the thing with that. You do too much water, you put some more paint in there. Okay, can you guys see that consistency? See how watery that is? But that's what I want for this. So, I'm going to, I really should put my hair back too, because I'm going to be bending down and blowing on this. I'm going to put a pour right there. Take my straw. Yep, that's exactly where I wanted that focal point. Okay. Turn this baby around. Look at all these cool drips off the side. Can you guys see it? Super cool. Okay, next up is gonna be my gold. Do I want any silicone in the gold? Maybe a little, and I think I want my gold a little bit thinner as well. So I'm gonna pour some gold into, so I like working with my a big batch of paint and then putting it in smaller cups and doing whatever I need to do to it. So 
I may not want silicone in all my paints. I may not want all my paints watered down the same consistency. So I leave the big one and then I take a small little cup and I mix it to the consistency I want. So for this one, just a tiny little bit of water added. I think I'm going to have this flow a little bit up here. And I think I am going to add a drop of silicone to this now. So now I'm just stirring this back up. I put a little bit of silicone in there. You could have done this. I could have done this without the silicone. So I'm just going to puddle pour in the middle. And then just kind of drip a little bit of it out this way. And then I'm going to drip a little bit down that way. my white a little bit of silicone in my white whoops a couple more drops than I meant to I'm mixing up my white and splooging it out and I'm just gonna do a little bit of white right there and then I'm gonna take my thing and I'm gonna drag that down as well Does not have to be perfect. I don't want it to be perfect, really. Can you guys see the whole thing? Has it shifted? Okay. Sorry, it's light outside, so there's a little bit of a glare happening. But when I take you down to show you the whole thing, you'll be able to see it. So I'm just wiping the blue off of my knife. Look how much blue I have all over me, guys. This is ridiculous. And then I'm just gonna come up through here. Drag over the edge there. See how that blue color is coming up in there? So my final drag down that way. I'm going to do another gold over top in a puddle. And I'm going to layer in my white. And a little bit of this light aqua color. I'm going to take my straw again and I want a little bit of action kind of where these are not. I actually like those drips right there. Remind me of bubbles. Just playing around up here. still.
flip this back around. I really like the aqua color combination with the gold. I might have to do something else with that. Oh, you guys, I just got paint all in my hair. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm gonna have to try to get that out at some point. Cool. And now it's all over my lips. I wish you guys could see me right now. I'm a mess. My sea creature. A lot of paint right there, so I'm just getting some of that off. I like that it's kind of lopsided, that all of that's coming out from over here. I don't know how I'm gonna get this paint out of my hair. You guys, how abstract and cool is this? Most of my stuff normally looks like something. I'm so happy with this one. Should have wiped that off earlier. So if you don't like something, you just move it around. I'm gonna finish up with a little bit of gold right there in the center. Drag that out a little bit. You guys, I really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's so different than what I normally do. But I really like it. Oh my gosh, I have paint everywhere in my hair. All right, here you go, guys. Okay, that's what my sides look like, all dripped down in there. There's some of the cells that are just from, you know, paint layering. There are the cells from the... So my next one I'm gonna try with thinner paints and maybe even my blow dryer, but I really like the movement in this. It's over my sides. Almost like a starfish, kind of. That's the feel that I'm getting. You guys can see it this way. But I really like it. I like this little set of cells right there. 
I like that little set. That right there is amazing. This right here I might play with a little bit more. I don't know. But I love it. All right, there's something a little bit different for you, different technique. Fluid art. Thank you, guys. Bye.